Greetings travelers! Today we're going to show you how the board game of Aletheran is. It's also called Bros of Foes, Dungeons and Drinking. It depends whether you're allowed to drink or not. But it's basically a battle system that has been inspired from different role-playing systems. If you want to play this game, or if you want to get it uh, physically, then it's one of the tiers in the Kickstarter that has very few days left. So um, check it out, share, maybe support. Basically, this is a card game, uh, but you use dice to uh, see the outcome. And um, you each have different hit points, and you're using your abilities to get the other character's hit points down, and you can team up to be stronger. You play different characters who have different abilities. There are active abilities and passive abilities. For example, Wilhelm here, he has a steal ability because he's a vampire. So when he bites another character, he can take that character's features. He also has the power attack, that means that he can plus to the die. The first die is the amount of abilities you have. That's how many times you can use your special move. The second die is your armor class. Every time you get attacked, you have to re-roll your armor class. The more armor class you have, the more damage you take, but the harder it is to hit you. The less you have, the easier it is to hit you, but the less damage you take. The potion here is your life points. That is how much damage you can take before you're dead. You're out of the game if you're out of either drinking. This could of course also be written down on paper and be your hit points. If you really like to like make liquid your hit points, then you can also use juice, milk, um, milkshake, um, beer, wine, vodka, schnapps, whiskey, water, and the last die, it goes from hand to hand, and this is where you attack other players. That's basically it. Let's begin. Hello, I am player one, and I have uh, decided to play Tira. She has plus one damage when she hits a foe, and she has minus one on armor class, so she's easy to hit. But on top of that, her ability is to switch dice. My ability points is 1d3. One time I can switch a die. Dang it. My armor class is five. Hello, I am player two, and um, I have decided to uh, I've decided to play Alethran's Greed because he's very hard to hit. He has plus one armor class, and he can minus on the die. How many abilities? One d six. Six abilities. My armor class is five. Also hard to hit. I have of course chosen Beto. Beto is a wizard so I can throw fireballs so that attacks all of you. Unless some of you are rogues because then you can dodge me. My ability points are one fireball. Okay. And uh, my armor class is one. Uh, yeah, oh well. I'm Ken. So that means I have a sneak attack. When I hit someone, I'll deal extra damage. Then I have dodge to dodge the fireballs. Ability? Yeah. Six. So that's three ability points plus one. So you have four sneak attacks. And the armor class, five. All right, initiative, guys. Three initiative for me. Initiative three. Vito, show me your strength and initiative. Six. One. Yeah. All right, well, that's easy enough. I am going to spend my only ability starting out this battle with a fireball. <coughs> can you can uh, play a four, you can dodge if you want. Dodged. Ah, oh, man. Okay, that means that Ken doesn't take any damage, but the two of you. You're gonna get a fireball to the face. Four damage! Four damage? Ow! <laughs> All right. That means I'm out of abilities now. I'm just a weak wizard. Four damage equals four sips. Mm. Guess who I'm going after next? Four damage. Ah, that hurt. Thank you, Vito, for that lovely fire. Ball to the face. Ah, what are they? Excellent, my magic worked, at least on two of you. 
I will um, attack the rogue now. You have five in armor class, so I need to hit you on five. And if I hit five or above, you get five damage. Now that is not good because one is a fumble. Okay, so the rules for fumble says, fumble, ouch, you felt and hit yourself on your sword, I guess my staff. On a fumble you take normal damage from missing, but with an extra 1d6 damage, what? So I take four damage. What a turn. Yes. Class five. All right, and then I'll um, use sneak attack on uh, Lethrian. His armor class is five. Five. I have six abilities, and I will, of course, um, use just one ability point, so it goes down to four. And minus your down, your dice down to four. Four. I'm not hit. All right, is it my turn? I'm gonna go attack Tira. Tira, I attack you. That's a fumble. I take one damage. Boom! Your turn, Tira. I'm gonna reroll my. Armor class, it's a five, pretty hard to hit. I am going to attack Alethran again. It's she, he has like six in uh, in armor class, but I can switch a die. So let's see if we can wipe out Alethran's greed. Three, I'm gonna take his armor class and switch out with my attack. That's an instant kill, three die. I um, have no more ability points left, so Elephant's Greed takes 3 damage, but since I get a 6, it's a critical hit. So um, I can roll again, and if it's 3 or more, you take double damage. And that's a 5. So Elephant's Greed, you take 6 damage. <sighs> what? That's so mean. Okay, 6 damage. Boom! Boom! Ah, sh I mean, dang it, I should have used my abilities to minus on your die before I can use that next turn. I'm gonna attack you. You have one armor class, I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna do it now. That's a little fumble. Okay, I have two hit points left. If I don't roll one, I am dead, guys. I'm out. I'm gonna pass the turn to, I would say Ken. Take a turn. Okay, I'm gonna use my sneak attack then, and I'm gonna do Tira. Two. Now, I will attack you. Miss. I'll uh, try to sneak attack you again. I'm hit. It's one damage plus one d6. Five damage because it's one damage for my armor class and then uh, four from your sneak attack. I think I have around four hit points left. That's okay. I will take Ken, man. Why do we have no more abilities left? I miss. I'm gonna sneak attack. Um, you two. Five? Yeah. Ugh, one. one plus one, that's two damage. That's one. And that is two. I will attack you. Why do we have no more ability points? I will reroll my ammo class first. And that is three. I need to hit five. Six! So if I roll five again now, you get double damage. If I roll under five, you just get five damage. If 
Five. That's ten damage. Uh, like that. I'm gonna attack. Veto. Mm, damage. One. Oh, four. So wait, first you hit my armor class in three. And then you gave me four sneak attack damage. Yes. And you still have one sneak attack left. Yep. Ken, I will attack you. I hit you. Woo! Three damage. Cheers, everyone. Player two, player three, player four. Thanks for a good game. We all waste new. Player one and Tira were supreme winners. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this game makes sense. <coughs> <laughs> it's not too confusing. Remember to back the Kickstarter. Let's get the season two going. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for liking and commenting and subscribing. And um, maybe next time we should do a vodka instead. <laughs>